Number 10. Loomis Fargo & Company Loomis Fargo & Company, a cash handling company, was formed in 1997 by the consolidation of two armored security teams, Wells Fargo Armored Service and Loomis Armored Incorporated. But even with combined security forces, the company was hit by two enormous heists the same year. The first was in March at a Florida branch of the bank when armored car driver Philip Noel Johnson overpowered two of his co-workers before taking off with $18 million from the armored vehicle he was driving. He stashed the cash in a North Carolina home and then moved to Mexico. But it wasn't before long he was apprehended at the U.S. border crossing under an unknown alias after being pulled from a bus. He was convicted and sentenced to 25 years in prison. The second heist was in October at a North Carolina branch by a vault supervisor of the company, David Scoot Gant, who organized a robbery of $50,000. He also fled to Mexico where he was captured by FBI and Mexican agents and imprisoned. Number 9. Dunbar Armored The Dunbar Armored robbery, which took place in 1997, was also an inside job, but this time it was a safety regional inspector by the name of Alan Pace. By scooting out and taking photographs of the interior of the Los Angeles car depot, Pace, along with other conspirators, managed to dodge security surveillance cameras and entered the facility. Once inside and by just using radio headsets for communication, they tied up all the guards with duct tape before making off with $19 million in a U-Haul truck. The robbery was almost perfect, and the group almost got away with the heist, but when the getaway truck's taillight was found at the scene, it wasn't before long crime experts traced it right back to Pace, which subsequently led to his arrest. He was sentenced to 24 years. Almost half of that stolen cash is still unaccounted for. Number 8. Northern Bank This heist was a large cash robbery from the Northern Bank headquarters in Belfast, Ireland on December 2004. The gang of criminals who carried out this heist planned perfectly and came up with the most brilliant idea of simply making friends with two bank officials before making their hit. The night before the robbery, the robbers disguised themselves as police officers, entered the homes of both officials and then held their families hostage. With the lives of their families on the line, both officials complied with the robbers and gave them the access they wanted. The robbers then stacked and piled $50 million before escaping without a trace. I guess the robbers escaped in the wind because the investigation is still in progress and the heist is still unsolved. Number 7. Banco Central The Banco Central heist in Brazil is undoubtedly one of the most creative and most comfortable heists in history. The robbers who posed as workers of a land survey and evaluating business robbed and stole almost $70 million in cash before transferring it through a tunnel more than 250 feet long below the bank. Not only did they dig the tunnel prior to the heist, but also connected sophisticated lighting and an air conditioning system to the tunnel to make their getaway more comfortable. Now that's what I call robbing in comfort. Authorities later theorized that the tunnel took more than three months to build and that the robbers used precise mathematical measurements and advanced tools to build the perfect getaway route. Today, although more than 40 arrests have been made, including the criminal mastermind Antonio de Orob, only $9 million has been recovered. Number 6. The Great Train Robber Unlike most famous robberies, this robbery didn't take place in a bank, but rather on a postal train. In 1963, 16 robbers stopped and hijacked a train called the Night Flyer, carrying high-value packages and banknotes destined for various banks across the width and breadth of London at the time. It was alleged that the robbers made their way on board when the train stopped at a red light crossing. The robbers then attacked the staff members in the high-value carriage and collected their loot of $74 million, all neatly packaged in high-priced mailbags. The security team on board didn't even realize that they'd been robbed until they found the train's engine was missing as well as two carriages. Maybe they were sleeping, who knows? Number 5. Securitas Depot in 2006, the Securitas Depot robbery took place in Kent, England and lasted several hours. The ordeal began when robbers decided to kidnap and threaten the family members of the bank's manager, along with holding 14 staff members hostage at gunpoint. 
With the security access codes to all the vaults and all staff members tied up, the robbers were able to claim their cash prize valuing more than $92 million. Once the robbers had their money, they left the hostages in the cash cages and made a run for it. Unfortunately, the robbers suffered the same fate as most lawless characters, and they were eventually caught and imprisoned. This time, the money was recovered in full. Number 4. The Knightsbridge Security Deposit Led by the famous Italian criminal Valerio Vice, this bank heist took place on July of 1987 at the Knightsbridge Security Deposit in Cheval Place, Knightsbridge, England. Known as the most popular safe house for many famous clients and business owners at the time, the robbers knew the lucrative nature of their loot even before accessing it. Vietier, along with his gang members, entered the bank pretending to be customers, later overpowering the security guards and putting up the close sign. The bank's manager and staff members were then subdued by handguns. With bank closed, the robbers began emptying safety boxes, all containing jewelry and cash, totaling $200 million. Vietier was captured when he returned to his homeland to retrieve a part of the loot and received 22 years. He was later killed in a police shootout just a day before his release. Number 3. British Bank of the Middle East This bank heist on January 20, 1976 wasn't your typical bank robbery that lasted a few hours or a day, but instead it lasted for more than a week. In the midst of the chaos during the Civil War in Beirut, the Yasser Arafat's Palestine Liberation Organization used brute force to gain access into the bank by blasting through a wall that was shared with the Catholic Church. With the aid of professionally trained Corsican locksmiths, they managed to open cash vaults as well as safety deposit boxes, taking valuables ranging from gold bars to stocks and jewelry, all totaling a whopping $210 million. Number 2. Dar es Salaam the Dar es Salaam Bank, a private financial institution located in Baghdad in 2007, suffered one of the most astonishing bank heists ever. $282 million was stolen in the night by the same security guards who slept at the bank each night to secure the money. The robbery had officials in awe. It raised more questions than it answered. When the employees came to work the following morning, they found the front door open, all the doors of the vault smashed, the money gone, and the guards nowhere to be found. It was alleged that the guards carefully engineered the robbery and executed their plan, and with connections to the militias, they were able to pass through various security checkpoints in Baghdad without even being searched. Just imagine the faces of the bank's employees that morning. Number 1. Central Bank of Iraq Commencing on March 18, 2003, just a day before the U.S. began bombing Iraq, $292 billion was stolen from the Central Bank of Iraq. This time, there were no bandit masks, guns, or hostages. The ultimate weapon? A note signed by Saddam Hussein. Saddam Hussein had his son Kuse withdraw the money, which included boxes of $100 bills stamped with a seal identifying them as security money. Since Saddam was the ruler at the time, no laws were broken by his son, though corruption was undoubtedly involved. Unfortunately, Kusei was later killed by the United States military in the midst of the Iraq War. To date, the majority of the money has been recovered, which was found in the walls of his palace. But hundreds of millions are yet to be found. 